Good morning. I am in Skagway. I hope I don't have food in my teeth because I just finished breakfast. I wasn't hungry and then all of a sudden about an hour later, of course I got hungry. No, I had just a little bit of food, but here we are. I'm on the mountainside right here. So on the uh, port side and it is just gorgeous out here. It's gorgeous. We have, uh, my friend and I, we have a couple things we're going to do today. We're going to do a city tour, which is a couple hours this morning, and then we can shop or whatever we want in town, and then we're going to come back to the ship and then uh, regroup, and then we have another excursion for the White Pass Rail around 5 o'clock. <laughs> So, and we are here for a long day, so there, we're in port from 7.30 to almost 11, so it's going to be a good day. Walk up that way. So he grabbed his Winchester revolving rifle down off the wall, slung it over his shoulder, made his way down to the docks where Frank Reed stood guard outside. He recognized a drunken Sophie, Sophie Smith stumbling towards him. He issued him a gentleman's warning. Smith, you stop right there. It's a private meeting. You're not welcome. Smith yells back, damn you, Reed. He takes his Winchester revolving rifle off his shoulder and he swung it at Frank <laughs> like a club, trying to knock him off the docks and into the water. But he was so drunk, he missed. Well, that was all the legal provocation Frank Reed needed. He took a six gun off his hip. He pointed it at Sophie Smith. He pulled the trigger and click. He was looking for bang, right? Would have been the end of the story. But the hammer falls on a faulty cartridge. That sobered up Sophie Smith mighty fast. He saw murder in Frank Reed's eyes. He quickly brought his rifle up center. Frank had just enough time to reload. They said both men shot nearly at the same time. Sophie Smith shot in the heart. He's dead before he hit the dock. We've always considered him to have been the lucky man that day. Frank Reed, not so lucky. He takes a barrel blast to the... Oh! <laughs> Don't post that on the internet. Um, we'll say pelvis. 
<laughs> you might be noticing that Frank Reed did not die that day. Frank died an agonizing 12 days later with the shattered pelvis, cause of death, infection in the wound. Ladies, you should see some of the gentlemen's faces right now. <laughs> but uh, that night in all this commotion, everyone was so concerned with tending to Frank Reed, well, that something was forgotten. Someone. Sophie, he just lied on the docks in a pool of his own blood. It was only the next day lovely ladies disembarking steamships while they weren't very impressed that they had to walk over that bloody dead guy just to get to town. When they went to the mayor to complain, he didn't seem to care either. He just said, welcome to Skagway. with our streetcar tour that was super fun told us some really cute stories some people were rude on there but it is what it is right oh we are just walking around good a little shopping and we're gonna take some photos try to see if I can get over here and get some of these mountains and then it's just so beautiful and then a little bit of the town and then we're gonna go back to the ship and have some lunch. So we had we had kind of small breakfast. So because we ate so late last night. So anyway, all right. Oh, what does he have? Oh, this is that doughboy that people talk about. They say you have to get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> what can we get for you? Smells like a dream. All right, I'll help you right over here. Okay. All right, just one dough boy. No. Sure. Okay. Sure. Any drinks you want anything for you? To drink, honey, or you go no. Okay. okay. I'll just, just have to yeah. use the restroom. Here. White Pass Rail. They said our train is only about a third full, which is good. So everybody will get a nice seat. And uh, so we're going to be taking off here pretty soon. And wanted to uh, look and see all of the different things over here while we're waiting. They paint the rocks so you can actually, like when a ship comes in, they'll put it here on the rocks of the different ships and when they came, the date and stuff. So it was pretty cool looking.
on the trail and it's been absolutely gorgeous I'm like trying to keep up with all the cameras and the phones and everything it's been amazing amazing Not sure if I'm ready for the bridge. Oh, you're not that, huh? <laughs> I'm a little scared of heights. Yeah. Well, it's only like 3,000 feet. That's not too bad. Yeah. Well, that leaking. She said we were coming up on the bridge. Yeah. And Jen, she said it's going to get dark, so the tunnel. Oh, that's not too bad. coat so that way I'd be warmer. 
it's freezing outside, but it is so worth it to step outside onto the outside to be able to get in like beautiful views and pictures and stuff. The glass here does a little bit of glaring when you take photos, but I mean, it is nice and warm. They offer water, there are restrooms. So, very cool to see. It's like all the things, like I watched the movie White Fang and Call of the Wild and seen all those movies about this and um, just to be up here is just different, you know, just to experience like what they did, you know, on foot and uh, here, to be here is just different, just interesting. going back into Skagway. It was absolutely gorgeous and uh, it's worth it to do it one time. I don't know if you, if this is kind of your thing, it's very cold, it's very wilderness, snowy, but the whole history of it all is very interesting. Now I will say that if you're outside here, you're not going to hear all the narration or the, and it's not narration the whole time, but you miss some things, information that's going on inside. So you could be missing that. But otherwise, it's amazing to see and view and hear the history of how the gold rush, uh, what they struggled through, what, you know, what the supplies were, the requirements, you know everything it was just amazing to listen to and so and, and you know the how many people actually hit made it up there and the gold and the animals that suffered and stuff so there's so much history of just trying to get that piece of gold you know so, all part of American history oh anyway all right Gonna, we're almost down to Akin to Skagway, and it has been an amazing, amazing adventure. Okay, I had a lovely day. We had two beautiful excursions. And I just opened up. They always close the balcony drapes. So I don't know why. And then turn down service. These are some of the things I love about Norwegian. Also, I love the freestyle dining where I can go to one, two, three, four, five different areas to eat that are included in your cruise ship payment. I don't know how to say it. Fair? Cruise ship fare. 
There are specialty dinings. There are a ton of specialty dinings on this one. We did try one. We tried Los Lobos. And we are going to try Q. I've gone to Cagney's in the past. It's good, but it's not I want to try something different. And I've done teppanyaki several times. I also did on the Epic. They had this other like dinner and a show type thing. If you've never seen my Epic vlogs, you probably don't want to. Those are one of the first vlogs I did. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm hoping I've improved, but not on this cruise. I have been like a little MIA from filming. I'm going to try to get better the rest of the cruise. But today, yesterday was Juno. Today's Skagway. Tomorrow is Glacier Bay. We're just going to be cruising around. So I have my tripod over there in the corner and I'm going to be setting up my big camera on that and I really did bring my big camera this time uh, I don't typically bring it because I don't really need it but they said for Alaska you got to bring the big camera so I have everything ready to go for tomorrow we have a little bit of a plan I think we're gonna grab breakfast in the morning and then we're gonna bring it up to our rooms and then we're gonna kind of see what's happening outside I think it's just gonna be a lovely lovely day um just cruising around and stuff relaxing we've been kind of a go 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 and today we actually took a nap it was nice in between our two excursions oh anyway we are back it is almost eight o'clock oh uh we are gonna go i gotta make some reservations i noticed down here you do have to make some reservations just like on some of the other uh, cruise ships now they're going with making a reservation letting them know when you're going down on carnival it's like hey i'm ready to come to dinner they tell you when your table's ready and they give you your table number um, on here you make a reservation for a certain time i literally walked up to the manhattan room last night <laughs> made the reservation right there standing there for eight o'clock and it was like 805 <laughs> and they're like come on in <laughs> So, I mean, you can do that, <laughs> but we're going to go try taste. We went to Savor for lunch. We went to Manhattan Room. We've gone to Los Lobos, and today we're going to go to taste. Taste and Savor are pretty much the same, but I um, thought I'd show um, Elsie. I almost called her Letty. <laughs> Elsie, a little bit, something a little bit different. We do have a cruise planner for tomorrow already. Not a cruise planner. What do they call it? Freestyle planner. And there's something in here that we may do. I've been wanting to go to the thermal spa, the thermal pool and stuff. And they have a ladies night in the spa for tomorrow night. It's only $39. And if I did a day pass, it was going to be $79. So this is only $39. And um, anyway, I'm going to try it. And if you do this... For the $39, usually the 30, if you buy something else like a massage or something during the pamper night, usually that money is credited. And I think that's what it says here. $39 and it's redeemable for a spa credit if you book for like a massage or manicure or, or something in the spa. So anyway, all right. So we're going to check this out. We're going to check it out and see uh, uh, if she's... I'm going to see if Elsie's interested. If she's not, I'm thinking about just going on my own, but I'm considering doing that. All right, that is it for today. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, I barely took pictures of my dinner because I was so tired. It is almost 9 30 and been up since very early to go on those two excursions and i'm exhausted so i hope you enjoy this video compared to the other video from the first three days <laughs> whoa i can't believe i hardly filmed anyway all right have a great day oh what, what was i saying take care and have a great day <laughs>